Hi, Photos subscribers. Today we're talking about grid spots, and grid spots can be used on flashes or studio strobes. However, grid spots, uh, there's some technicality we can get into, but just describing what this is, I'm going to give you a visual as well. This is a grid spot that I bought with a flash accessory. Um, it has a, a uh, barrel, uh, say, uh, in it, no better term, that fits over my camera flash. It's a hot shoe flash that fits on top of my camera. But on top of that barrel that fits over the, the, the camera flash that I have sits this little disc. And some of them have a honeycomb shape. This one is just squares. But you can see, as I turn this away from the lens of my camera, you can see how those squares just tend to uh, narrow down. And there's more open squares over here and these are narrowed out and so you really with a flash in the center back here you're going to see some brightness in the center of wherever this is reflecting but it's going to really dim down the outer edges not dumb down please don't I'm, I'm not saying that it'll dim the light that the flash gives through this grid spot and that being said the intensity of your light through this grid spot is very much the purpose of the grid spot. It's meaning to highlight whatever you have your strobe lighting through this grid spot. With that, that narrowing down, it's very much like uh, if you've used a pressure washer, um, it, it funnels all that water through one tiny spot. Another illustration, if you have your uh, garden hose out and turned on, you can grab the nozzle and put your thumb over the nozzle. Now there is the same amount of water that's trying to go through the end of the nozzle, but you are only limiting a portion of that garden hose. You're limiting how much water can come through, and so it's a lot higher pressure intensity. In that respect, this is like your thumb over that garden hose, and it's only letting so much light out and there will be a lot more intensity with that light and some areas that are specifically uh, brighter than the rest because the rest of that area that this grid spot lights, quote unquote, is not as intense. It's one of those ways that you can dial down the light intensity and it's a very useful key if you are wanting to add light to a specific item in what you're shooting but you don't want to light a lot of everything else. In the studio where I was shooting for many years, I wanted to add some light to what I was shooting, but I didn't want to add a lot of light to the rest of the atmosphere of my photograph. And it was a, a bust type of statue. Uh, it, was, it was made of some metals, and it was basically, you know, from the neck and just barely parts of the shoulders on up to the top of the, the, the sculpture's head, which uh, was formed like a man. So uh, I, I didn't want everything around that sculpture lit. I just wanted specific parts of that sculpture lit. And so I used a grid spot on my studio strobe to narrow down the amount of light that that light was giving because I wanted to be able to control where that light went and how much of that light was being used. So it's this uh, item, a grid spot, is very useful if you want to control the amount of light you're adding to your scene. So if you need the grid spot, be sure uh, this one is from, like I said, a, a product that was specifically for my hot shoe flash, but there are many types of grid spots. And you will need to find a specific grid spot with the attachment to the strobe uh, head that you have. Or if you have a hot shoe flash such as I have, you can go out there and search different um, flash attachments. And whether you use um, any online store, the photography store is specifically going to have these kind of uh, light controlling adjustments and accessories. So uh, the specific term you will need to use as you search for this is grid spot. So then you can look for all the different accessories and how that grid spot attaches to the light that you have. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, 
and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any other future videos we have coming out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.